President Biden, he charged Secretary of State Tony Blinken with reviving our partnerships globally. And in particular, there was a desire to do more in Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's why you had the visit in August in which uh, Secretary Blinken announced the sub-Saharan strat strategy mm -hmm. uh, by the United States towards Africa. And if I would summarize it, it's one word, mm -hmm. it's partnership, mm -hmm. it's equal partnership. So I've added a second word because we recognize that the world is interconnected and we can't solve any of the challenges that we're facing climate change uh, as one ex good example. The pandemic is another example. The terrorist threat is a third example mm -hmm. if we don't work together and help one another. So that was why uh, we were here in August to talk about that theme. Mm -hmm. And then uh, around the Christmas period in December, we hosted, as you know, uh, African leaders from all over the continent. And they met with President Biden and his entire cabinet to talk about how we could work together more in all these different sectors. So let's look, for example, uh, I know this is a, a somewhat of a sensitive topic, at the impact of Russia's war in Ukraine on commodities uh, mm -hmm. and fertilizer and fuel prices, right? All these things uh, that Africans depend on externally. You don't want to be a position to have that external dependency. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to yes. have your own capability. You're interested in trying to invest uh, to help you uh, meet that demand for yourselves here on the continent. What is the position of the United States of America on Agua? Where to from here? So this program, which provides trade preferences, was designed uh, to help develop African economies. Uh, it was designed to be a different way of doing development than traditional assistance. And it is governed by legislation. Mm -hmm. So it is true that the legislation needs to be renewed in 2025. Mm -hmm. So there are active discussions going on right now to see what has worked, what hasn't worked, and how the legislation might be adjusted and adapted uh, to meet the current circumstances. And South Africa, as you know, will host uh, the AGOA Forum in August. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to deepening those conversations. Uh, during the Africa Leaders Summit in Washington, the U.S. Trade Representative, Ambassador Catherine Tai, hosted a meeting of all her finance and trade counterparts to discuss AGOA and the way forward. So um, I think we're going to get to a good place but we all need to do things. Africans need to take steps. We need to take steps to make sure that program is meeting its objectives.